Hello, my name is James Seward. I am a student here at Clemson University. Um, I am a biology major. I'm a sophomore here. I'm a new student. I'm a transfer from Tri-County Technical College the, through the Bridge Program. Um, <clears throat> I am 20 years old from Greenville, South Carolina. Um, this is my video log for Library 100. Um, the first thing it asked me to do is describe my identities and I would for uh, starters my religious orientation is um, Protestant um, Presbyterian and um, I go to First Presbyterian in downtown Greenville um, my ethnicity is white uh, my sexual orientation is straight um, my so social economic status, I would say, is upper middle class. Um, my first language is English, and I don't have a second language. Um, I'm from, born here in the United States. Um, my abilities and um, talents would come from learn, uh, being able to learn biological sciences quickly, uh, being able to understand uh, theories from chemistry and stuff like that. Um, other talents and abilities of mine are um, probably being able to play lacrosse. I've been playing lacrosse for a long time um, in other sports. Um, for the role that, uh, yeah, for these identities that plays the largest in my life is probably my uh, desire to become a doctor and to to become um, to graduate and to get a master's a undergrad degree to go to medical school uh, and to further my education into that field um, one that I don't really ever think about that uh, traits that identify me is my ethnicity my economic status, my um, orientation, my, my sexual orientation, or things like that, um, mainly because that I don't think that anyone should be judged in that type of view or anything like that. Um, I would say after reading the article sent to me by um, the Library 100 faculty, because I was not able to um, go to a dialogue meeting because of the incident that happened on December uh, 6th with the water pressure valve canceling the classes and many things on campus. Um, I was to I was sent an article to read about um, it's called Tenum's article. It was about uh, just identifications and stuff like that. And um, out of these identities, um, I would say they would put me in a dominant group uh, because they do define who I am. And um, this is just simply because that it's easy to define someone in, in this way. Um, and the th uh, thing that says... Tenum says the truth is that the dominants do not really know what the experience of the subdominant sub subordinates is. In contrast, the subordinates are very well informed about the dominants. Um, I think this statement means that um, people who I guess are viewed more highly in society uh, don't really know the experiences that. Uh, these subordinates go through, but the subordinates know what they have gone through and what the dominant group uh, goes through. Um, so, in a way that they're more educated, possibly, or in a higher, uh, put on a higher pedestal. Um, in the second to last. In the second to last paragraph, Tendo discusses the implications of the articles, um, and I do agree with what he was saying.
Um, I've got the article right here. Um, it's just really talking about the t um, resisting oppression and to make sure you have the ability and the knowledge to not oppress others. Um, so that's one I learned from that and just concludes my vlog video.